Okay, let's see some basic arithmetic operations. First, we need to have some values inside registers. So, to quickly load a value into the register, we can use instruction called load immediate. Abbreviation is called li. So, let's type li dollar sign s0 comma 10. And what we say with this is put value 10 into the register S0. One more. Load immediate dollar sign S1 comma 5. Put 5 into the register S1. Now we want to add these numbers. Addition is done on the following way. Instruction for adding is called add. Pretty simple. And here how it works. Type dollar sign s2 comma dollar sign s0 comma dollar sign s1. It works like this. Into the register s2 put the sum value of the registers s0 and s1. To see if this is working properly we will run program line by line. Okay, assemble this and now as you see when the first line is executed value of 10 is entered into the register S0 and same goes for the register S1 after the second line. Now when we execute the third line where we add numbers you see that S2 is now filled with the value 15, which is the correct math. Moving on the subtraction. But before we move, first let's reset our value for the register S2. The easiest way to do that is by using exclusive OR operator. As you see on this picture, the value will be 0 only if we have both inputs equal to 1 or 0. So by following that we can type XOR dollar sign S2 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 meaning the following in the register S2 put the result of exclusive OR logical gate of the S2 and S2 and because S2 has a value it is not empty it means that the both entering values are 1 which will lead to the output being 0 and that will reset the value of the register S2 to 0. Now let's subtract our S0 and S1 and put the result into the S2. Instruction for subtraction is called sub. So type in sub S2 S1 S0 meaning first subtract S1 and S0 and the result of the subtraction put into the register S2. Assemble this code and now we will go again line by line. So when we execute XOR instruction or exclusive OR, you see that the S now becomes 0. And after the last line is executed, S2 becomes minus 5 because 5 minus 10 equals minus 5, of course.